uh, music wise, only thing is it's, it's dead. But if you're a hip hop fan, Nas put out Magic, solid. Him and Hit Boy seem to be locked in. They doing good production together. From King's Disease one and two to Magic and King's Disease three coming out this year, I would just say grab that if you want some solid production, good bars. It's a good all round. They got a good catalog together with each other. You won't be disappointed. But as if you're a true hip hop, a story hip hop head, but if you someone that just like rap, just go to Spotify. Cause it really isn't, there's no sing songy type shit out there. Then I don't listen to a lot of new shit unless I'm DJing. So I couldn't even recommend any of them cause I don't waste time out my life. Hmm. So what's your favorite track off the album? Uh, really, I, mean, I just put it in let it ride. I don't have to skip anything. It's nine songs and you can just let it ride. There's not really one better than the other. It's just a real solid project. Just like Rick Ross's uh, last city, Richard Never Been. He's trying to show his verbal capabilities with no party record, but it's a solid effort. It goes nice into the collection, but it doesn't have a high replay value compared to his old work. So, like, check that out. So, tell me then, um, where would you rank this Nas album against all the others? Oh, I mean, it's not, it's not an earth shattering to where it needs to be like up in this top five or anything. It's just a good project. It's a good solid project. Considering that's his second one this year. That don't happen too often anymore. He's he's kind of been releasing stuff every six, seven months. And that's something he's never done. So, and you gotta have the common sense. No, a lot of this stuff is just stuff that is on the cutting room floor that didn't make this, so we gonna throw it on this. And first of all, like he's trying to get out of his record deal, but I forgot he's independent now. So he's literally just flooding the gates with music to remind people, everybody's screaming, Jay-Z, Jay-Z, Jay-Z. I'm just as good, if not better. So like this is nothing but solidifying his hip hop legacy is how I see it. Cause the knock on him was always, his beats is trash, he's with the wrong producers. Cause he was like person that, he would give Joe Blow off the street a chance. Where you know everybody else wanna keep that rep up high and wanna only certain ones they wanna work with cause they're a certain caliber. He wasn't about that. He was like, hey, whoever want to work with, I'm going to work with. And I respect that. But, you know, sometimes some of these producers will get you and grab you and be like, hey, you know, I got this idea and I, you know, I want you to try it. Then y'all can sing together. It's like Timberlake and uh, Timberlake. You know, Timberlake, no, he can't do shit without Timberlake. If he does, it's going to be trash. Nine times out of 10. Just like I hate to admit it, when the Ozzy Brothers did that, no, uh, yes, in without... fairness to Justin Timberlake, his first album was cold too. Timberland produced the first album. The very first album? Yes. Okay, because that one didn't sound like Timber, Timberlake. Uh, Timberland did Timberland. a track or two on the first one. Then from that moment on, he exclusively went to Timberland because okay. his bigger singles, Timberland produced. Okay, so I stand like, corrected then. You said what? I stand corrected then. It looks like he, I, he has to know he can't work with anybody else to get that success. Just like when uh, Ozzy Brothers did that last CD without R. Kelly, it was cool. JD did a good job. R. Kelly did one track on it, but it wasn't touching those three, four that they did with Kel prior. He knew how to write friends like Charlie Wilson. First CD, Uncle Charlie, last name Wilson was dope. He left Kel's after that and everything else. Okay, you got a couple songs it's like people gotta get out they they pry out of their way and if if it works here stay in that pocket quit trying to experiment because you want a different sound then you get mad when it's not received properly i can understand both sides of it though because a lot of these artists they it ain't because they're mad they they just they want to do something different so that they don't get pigeonholed 
as doing the same old thing because that will lose your fan base faster than anything. Your core fans are still supporting you and buy, but I don't know, maybe just me, if I can get something consistent and I know I'm gonna have platinum or gold success, I'm gonna keep it rolling. Yeah. Ultimately, if your catalog is strong, you're gonna be at the tour regardless. That's true. 